an extension of the public comment periods of the executive order that could lead to rollback and elimination of 11 marine sanctuaries have been moved to August 14th. Here's more. The executive order that could lead to the rollback or elimination of 11 marine sanctuaries, including Alpena's very own Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary and monuments created or expanded over the past decade, has been extended to Monday, August 14th. According to Senator Gary Peters, there was apparently 1.5 million comments written, but only around 400 were shared. Uh, I'm going to continue to push the administration to, to find out why this uh, occurred, if it was just a technical glitch or something else. Uh, but bottom line, we have to fix it. And I think you're going to find that there's overwhelming support for marine sanctuaries, particularly uh, in, uh, in Thunder Bay. In a request to the Trump administration and the Department of Commerce, Peters was successful with the expansion that was supposed to close on Wednesday, July 26th. Peters says the expansion gives everyone a chance to have their voice heard. You know, we're talking about uh, everyday citizens uh, who have been supportive of sanctuaries and Thunder Bay in particular, they need to have an opportunity to have their voice heard. So although the extension is not as long as I would like, at least folks uh, do have uh, until middle of August uh, to get uh, their, their uh, voices heard. Uh, and I would encourage people to go to the website and make sure that uh, they can have their opinions logged. The entire comments action started after the Trump administration ordered that the protected areas be open to oil and gas explorations. Peter says he will do everything in his power to make sure that the expansion of Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary doesn't shrink. As we want to make sure that the expansion that has occurred uh, doesn't shrink. Uh, this is an expansion that has tremendous economic benefit to northern Michigan. It's already been demonstrated in jobs that have been created, uh, dollars that are coming into the area. And I think uh, if the administration hears from folks in the area, uh, that message will be loud and clear and it makes uh, no sense to, to shrink the borders that have been expanded and have brought so much economic benefit to uh, northern Michigan.